Hello and welcome to my first Honest Practice vlog, where I'll be documenting my progression as a musician. So I started a master's program at USU here in Utah, and I just want to see where things will go from here. And I hopefully will be doing these about every week for the rest of my life. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do 190 instead of 240. <laughs> Thank you. 
something over the bridge there um, how about every time I hit a five chord that's a measure long so or more over the bridge um, I'm gonna try a lick that I st I'm stealing from this Clint Strong solo um, let's see here so there's always this one <laughs> That one works. Let's see if I can do that over every five chord on the bridge. I'll just try to play really diatonic on the, the A sections. sense to play it up here. Maybe. Um, I haven't figured out a fingering for it starting on the B string, so maybe I could try that real quick to make life easier. And then, so it starts on the root. Um, root 7 flat 6 5. To the third. So then over the G, those are my target tones for the. Yeah, there we go. Root flat nine, root seven, flat six, five, four, three, down to the five. It's gonna be kind of easy. It's almost an easier fingering than the other one. I'm just used to the other one. Oh boy. Okay. So. Oh dang it. Should have done the F one over here. Um, so let's see if I can do it over all of them. I'll do it on a much slower rhythm changes. Um, let's do like one sixty. Okay, got the B section. Okay. 
That's what it is. Let's go back a little bit, see if I can get that. in context is a uh... to a G now, so conscious of the third, fourth, fifth, and then kind of like a major bebop scale over a, over a dominant chord, fine by me, whatever. Let's see how I can apply that. Thank you. 
over the G. Yeah, it ended on the 7, so. Okay. What if I was on the 3rd here? Not too bad. And then over the F. Sounds kind of weird. Some, there's a lick in there that I'm hearing.